Good morning, LMP. My name is Abby Harley, and welcome to GNN on this beautiful morning of October 30th. Today, we're going to cover the upcoming spring baseball season, a special Halloween themed segment from the upper school, the question of the day from the lower school, and the overview of the recent achievements of the LMP golf team. My name is Abby Harley, and the question of today is, what are you going to be for Halloween? Halloween. All right. The Veritech family for Halloween is going to be a family of vampires. We're going to, I'm going to be Dracula. We have Mrs. Dracula and the two little girls are going to be little vampires this year. Well, since Halloween is my favorite holiday, I definitely have a costume like I have every year. And this year, I'm going to be a steampunk person. So I have a top hat. I have lots of like clockwork parts and really, really tall boots that I'm very excited about. For some reason, Shrek has been on my mind. I may just paint myself green uh, because we're going to be away at Blue Key and we're going to go door to door in the hotel. I'm going to be Robin Thicke for Halloween because Abby is going to be Miley Cyrus. So I think it's going to be a great combination. I'm going to be a pumpkin. <laughs> I'm going to be Santa for Halloween because my sister ordered way too much Christmas stuff and we got to wear it, so <laughs> Santa for Halloween. And uh, I'm going to be Frosty the Snowman because I'm going to one-up Cade's Christmas game on Halloween and there's nothing he can do about it, so <laughs> you better get ready. I'm going to be Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer because I want to one-up Andrew's Frosty the Snowman and Cade's Santa Claus. Hi, I'm Casey Wright. And today, we'll be recognizing the boys and girls LMP golf team. These golf teams are the most successful teams here at LMP in the past couple of years. And they have taken to extreme heights and feats that they have accomplished. Well, in the last three years, we won districts and regionals. Last year, we won states. And hope we will do that again. We grew as a team. We accomplished many new things for LMP, things that had been done, but then we stretched even farther at states. Um, set a new record in the regional for uh, shooting 18 under in the whole FHSAA um, record book, so that was fun. I knew this year was going to be a good year. I just didn't know how ready the team was, but as the years progressed, we, uh, we've come a long way. What I expected earlier this year was that we were going we to go out and we were going to dominate. We weren't going to be as good as last year as we lost Christian and we lost Austin, but I feel like we were still going to be a good team, a good dominant force, and someone that a team that people would be scared of, they fear the Griffin. Yeah, we've definitely grown together a lot. All golfers are really close to each other and they're really a team unit. Uh, definitely over the years that I've been here, I've seen our team grow. We've gone, usually whenever a match ends, we usually go out to eat, we hang out um, outside of the golf team, we hang out when golf season's over, we practice, we play, we do all this stuff together. It, it's, it's definitely a family atmosphere. We all each have each other's backs, we're basically brothers out there. We play our game, we will do what we have to do to win the state championship and defend. And that's definitely been our goal the whole year. Our coach has been saying, go back, get another ring, be back-to-back -back state champions. And I think that mindset's been in our head. Last year, we were district champions, regional champions, and state runner-up. And I was an individual district champion. I expected us to do really well and hopefully be state champions, which was the goal the entire season, and also to be district and regional champions, which we did. We've been together now for like four years, and I know that some of the girls on the team have matured a lot this year, and their golf game has gotten so much better throughout the years. Um, so I think we've really grown together as like a group of sisters. I think we're going to do really good. Um, if we play like we did at regionals, we'll win. Uh, we, if we just play our games and play strong, I think we're definitely going to take home the state title. As we can see, the success of the LMP golf team continues on. Today, the girls are currently playing in the state championships, and next week, the boys will play in the state championships. We wish them luck on their journey. On October 31st, 1926, Harry Houdini had died at age 52 to a ruptured appendix. Harry Houdini was a famous Hungarian-American magician. He was first known as Harry Handcuff Houdini because he challenged police forces to lock him up on a European tour. 
Later, he extended his range of tricks to include chains, ropes slung from skyscrapers, straight jackets underwater, and having to hold his breath inside a sealed milk can. Also on October 31st, 1941, the monument Mount Rushmore was completed after 14 years of hard work. The monument was made by two brothers named Lincoln and Gutzon Borglum. They had sculpted the faces of our past presidents, George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, Abraham Lincoln, and Theodore Roosevelt into the South Dakota mountainside. Mount Rushmore is a memorial that people come from across the nation and around the world to see for generations. For GNN News, I'm Haven Otto with This Week in History. Do you want to be more attractive? Simple, just smile. Research has proven that we find others more attractive when they are wearing a smile. When a person is down, sad, angry, or frustrated, how attractive are they? Now, that exact same person with a smile on his face. If you take time to exercise, I'm sure you'd have found the smiling version much more attractive and maybe you feel better about yourself. Also, a smile is contagious. Your smile can change the world. Remember to smile and pass it on. For more information, go to www.startofhappiness.com. I'm Gabriel E.J. asking the lower school the question of the day. What you want to be when you grow up? I'm here with Sarah. Sarah, what do you want to be when you grow up? A veterinarian. When I grow up, I'm going to be a spy. I want to be a computer engineer. A spy. Or a football player. A professional football player. Um, I want to be an engineer. A veterinarian. Um, I want to be an NHL player. A lawyer. Thank you all for watching. Have a fun Halloween tomorrow and stay classy, LMP.